Go. Right. We're here with uh, boxing prospect Dylan, Real Deal Price. Congratulations on that 12th night tonight, man. Please awesome. Please. Nine knockouts. Yes, sir. Yes. Um, so, how did it feel to, to actually finish him? Because I know you faced him back in 2019 and you did get the unanimous decision. Right. Um, but how did it feel? Like, was it like personal that you wanted to get back in there with him? Uh, it, it wasn't personal for me. It was just to show everybody how much I improved from the last time we fought. Uh, last time we fought, we were. A hard eight rounds, but it was competitive. Mm -hmm. uh, this fight, I wanted to show. I wanted to go out there and do what I uh, did. I uh, stopped. Show my as much as I'm stronger, older, more mature. Mm -hmm. It's an overall better fight. Of course, yeah. And I feel like I did that. That's yes. It. And you looked phenomenal with thank those you. body shot combos thank you, thank and all. Um, was that all part of the game plan the whole time? I just listened to my dad and uh, Nate and, and did what they told me to do. And that was all a part of the game plan in the training camp. You know, go to the body, uh, boxing smart. And uh, we knew he was going to come prepared, ready to fight, but he was ready. Cool. So. Yeah. Um, so obviously, um, Mexican fighters are probably one of my uh, favorite fighters to right. watch because they're so tough. They right. have the toughest chins and they're warriors out there. So right. how tough was it to face him again out there? Say it again. I'm sorry. Uh, no, no. Right. It's, it's all good. Uh, so obviously, Mexican fighters are very, very tough right. to fight and absolute warriors in the ring. But was it um, really tough to go at him again, or, or did you feel very confident in your uh, camp and all the fight? Uh, I felt very confident in my camp. Uh, I was confident in my condition, uh, just more confident in, in myself as a professional. So uh, I felt I felt great going into the fight. I felt great in the fight. Uh, and I just felt like it was no matter. Well, perfect. And then uh, I also got for you. Um, so obviously, you're probably at least maybe at the end of the year or early next year that you're going to get your title shot because you're very high ranked. Yeah. Um, but of course, you know you're uh, ready for it. But uh, what is what is next for you now? Like, are you going to take a couple months off, or are you going to be looking back? No, in there? I'm looking to get uh, right back in the ring in April. This fight, I'm already past this, and looking forward awesome. uh, to fighting April uh, for the uh, NBA title, Ooh. National Boxing Association. Nice. Okay. So we just looking to go up in the ranks. Uh, my dad line him up, and my job is to knock him down. Yes, yes. You know um, and then, of course, uh, thank you so much uh, for taking time to join on the podcast originally. Also, David was a yes, very yes. favorite guy, too. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Everyone liked his flexing. And yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, 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 nothing, I'm nothing without my dad. He the reason I, yeah. I am who I am today. And yeah. I just want to thank my team, my little brother, mm -hmm. uh, Nate, uh, my security, Flex, uh, Coach Al, Shauna. Uh, everybody, that's one thing. My whole team, uh, so they they help. They make training camp much easier. Mm -hmm. I love it. Perfect. Thank you so much. I'm ending on that. And congratulations, Thank man. You. This is Joe from the Joe Nick Flight Podcast, and we're out. Go follow the Joe Nick Flight Podcast, man. You yes. heard it from the best. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go.